Well, it. Uh, I'll, I'll start from the beginning. My father was diagnosed with uh, with tongue cancer, and uh, he went out to MD Anderson for for treatment, and they cured him. He was cancer free, and and, and to give back, we decided that. Uh, this would be a, a, a fun way to give back. Um, we're actively involved in polo here in Sarasota, the Sarasota Polo Club, and it just seemed to make sense. It's, uh, it's a great day, it's a fun event, and uh, it brings a lot of people and a lot of uh, awareness to, uh, to MD Anderson Cancer and also this year the Center for Building Hope. You know, a lot of people say MD Anderson while well, they're in Houston and, and they, you know, how does, it, how does it really relate to us here in Sarasota? Well. You know, they, uh, all the research and everything that they do, they share with all the organizations around this area. I mean, Moffitt and MD are very close, uh, Center for Building Hope. I mean, it, it, all, it all ties together, and that's, uh, that's really what makes it special. You know, as I, I explained it once to someone, they said, well, how did you feel when you were diagnosed? And I said, well, you know, I'm not a woman, and I, I have never had a hot flash to my knowledge. But when I was told I had cancer, I believe I had my first hot flash. It was just, you know, wow. kind of a, a real setback. Um, what I really found out about cancer um, is that just the, the building of your confidence level in the whole game in, um, is, is so much a part of it, as well as the radiation and or chemo, whatever you have to go through. But, if if you have a, a strong group with you and you're feeling good about your I, I think I really feel like it makes a huge difference well I think like most people when when something like this happens the first thing you think about um, hopefully you were cured and had a successful run um, how do you give back well you know like most of us we try and write checks and support those doctors or that part of the hospital that you know you had to be in. Um, I knew of some other polo players that had an event called Polo on the Prairie and so one day I looked at my wife and I said God we have access to polo why don't we do polo under the pond and she said great idea we'll look at it. It started off with uh, with with one match and, uh, and the event and it's now turned into a, a week-long tournament so we get teams from all over that come in play the tournament and it it uh, it ends in the final match here on, on March 8th pull onto the palms and that's when everyone gets to come out and uh, watch the match go to the event have a good time and uh, and certainly learn about uh, learn about MD Anderson and the Center for Building Hope. Um, you know it's just it's such a nice thing to give back um, it sometimes is a lot easier to write a check, which I think we're all familiar with, but it's also rewarding to, to work at something and, and put a charity together and an event that, that might be ongoing um, for hopefully years to come. And uh, being able to look at, at, at other um, cancer clinics and other cancer uh, places that that will help such as Center for Building Hope. So th I think really that's that's probably the most rewarding part of the the whole benefit.